Alright, for the question number two, use bond enthalpy table to predict energy change for one through three reactions above. So, um, what I meant to say was that, that what is the uh, energy change going from here to here? This reaction right here. So, to go from here to here, we didn't do anything, right? It just stay as this way. Right? So that reaction right here, we just put it this way, minus 198.9 kilojoule for this reaction, per mole. Okay? What about this reaction right here? That reaction, we actually flip the reactant to the product, right? And then the product becoming reactant. So what should I do with this negative sign here? It becomes positive, right? So for that reaction, 142.3 kilojoule per mole. What about the last reaction right here? Originally it started something like this, and then we made it to make it look like this, right? to fit into this right here. So we just half the, the stuff. So half of this is actually 297.5 to 97.5 kJ per mole. And the question is, is that positive or negative? We actually flipped the, the um, Reactant becoming product and then the product becoming reactant, right? So um, that one right there is going to be negative. So let's just add it up. That one right there, because I don't know, um, should I actually cut it? Yeah, I can cut it. So it's going to take some time. Just bear with me. Uh, Good thing about um, doing this thing with that. Google.com. And then you can actually make it equal to 198.9. That was negative, sorry. That was negative. Plus, oops. Plus 1. 42.3 minus 297.5. So if I do that, I get 354.1. So so if I add up all these numbers right here, 354.1 kilojoule. Okay, so for that reaction right here, which is identical to this guy, that reaction will have an energy of negative 354.1 kilojoule per mole. Alright, that's the end of the question number two. And three.